OK, and how much did you cover yourself for? Whew. Well, the first thing you do is you analyse what would happen and you try and work that out. You look at what debts you've got, you'd want to have all your debts clear. You look at whether you've got any in-work benefits for the for if one of you is working or both of you are working in a, in a couple, uh, because that might cover some of this, so you wouldn't need to go through. And after all of that, you're looking to get the equivalent of, and this is a, a wish list as opposed to, if you can't do this, don't do it, ten times the main breadwinner's income. Now, I say the main breadwinner, Let's imagine you're in a couple and the person who isn't the breadwinner were to die. Well, the person who goes out and earns the money may have to change their lifestyle in order to look after the kids, which yeah. is why we tend to focus on the main breadwinner's income. So ten times the main breadwinner's income is what you'd look at. If you can't do that, you'd do less. If you've already got cover, like in work, you, don't, you wouldn't duplicate it on top, so you have to factor that in there.